everyone, this is Matthew Martin from VCCS Telecom, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use TCP Dump and Wireshark to analyze uh, VoIP packets um, with an asterisk base uh, switch or uh, asterisk base phone system. Um, what you're going to need is SSH clients uh, such as PuTTY, um, you're going to need WinSCP, a Windows Machine, and Wireshark. And uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, what I have here is my uh, asterisk box I'm inside Linux here. And um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, start off with the commands that I need. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. Now, th this is the basic switches that I use for TCP dump. By the way, if you don't have TCP dump installed, you're going to go and uh, do that uh, from your Linux box using uh, yum or apt-get or, or an RPM, depending on your uh, operating system. So you can do a yum install uh, TCP dump, for example. Um, so let's look at these switches here. Um, so we're doing uh, the TCP dump is the command obviously uh, dash W so we're specifying an output file which is here um, I prefer to put it in the temp folder uh, just to keep things uh, straight and narrow the dash P don't start in promiscuous mode dash N uh, we don't want to do name resolution we're just going to use the IPs to capture dash s0 um, we want to capture the full frame not just the first bytes uh, of the packet and the protocol so UDP is what we're specifying uh, because we're doing SIP over uh, UDP as normal obviously you're not going to want to uh, ignore TCP packets if we're using uh, SIP over TCP or uh, uh, SIP over encryption you're going to want to um, go ahead and capture all those packets so I'm going to take uh, the command with the switches and going to go ahead and dump that into SSH here. Now, what I normally like to do is open two SSH boxes. One so I can uh, be in the asterisk CLI and view the call uh, that I'm going to make for testing purposes. Um, the reason is is because when I start the capture, uh, you won't have access uh, to the uh, box anymore here. Um, so that's up to you whether or not you want to see the CLI. So we've started the capture. And right now you can go ahead and make your call either from uh, TCP, uh, sorry, from X Uh You can make that call from uh, your IP handset or however um, you make your, your calls for testing. So after that's completed, you're going to stop the capture with a control C. Now it's going to tell you obviously the packets captured, received, if there's any packets dropped no I, I don't have any at the moment if there was packets dropped that's definitely something you want to look at uh, as a as something uh, perhaps is wrong with the network um, that's definitely problematic so so now I've got that file saved and I need to extract that onto my desktop so what I'm going to do is use WinSCP which allows me to log into the uh, the file system here and I'm going to go into the temp folder where I saved, navigate down to the bottom, and here's the file that we saved. I'm going to go ahead and copy that to a folder on my Windows machine. And uh, I've already done one here, an asterisk fail. And so what I'd like to do is open this one here, and you're going to be running this in Wireshark. Uh, which is freely available. Oh, that didn't work here. Alright, so Wireshark's going to open this file up and we're going to see all the packets um, that were captured on the network. What we want is specifically the VoIP packets. So we're going to go up to the Telephony tab. We're going to click on VoIP. Um, you also note that there's uh, actually SIP and there's just RTP if you want to just analyze the RTP streams uh, which is good for any jitter, echo, uh, choppy calls you know you can jump right to RTP so for this particular um, failed uh, call that I had it was a problem with one of my providers and um, I could see here the state was rejected and of course uh, when I had uh, spoken with the provider you know they they were telling me that they have thousands and thousands of calls and 
that they you know don't see why it would be their switch and kind of a, a standard uh, attitude sometimes in the industry so um, of course I, I kept um, the packets and I can go ahead here and I can hit the um, the graph what I'm going to see here is uh, what the package exchange was. Uh, my server did an invite uh, using the 711 ULA uh, codec uh, to the switch. They came back and said the funds are okay in the accounts. Um, click on it, you will get uh, the debug in the background. Uh, then their switch actually came back and said route cannot be found. And I acknowledged that and I tore down the call. So I was able to take this back to the provider and say, you know, I told you so. Um, your switch told me the route could not be found and it's rejecting all calls to that particular area code. Um, other things you'll see in here could be, um, you know, any 503 errors, 404s, um, invites denied. You may have uh, unable to authenticate um, and you'll be able to see in which direction uh, that message uh, came from or was going to. So, so a completed call has a bit more information. As you can see here, you have uh, quite a bit more information on uh, the whole negotiation and setup, teardown of the call, and that was uh, a completed call. And furthermore, if you have some kind of jitter, like I was saying with the RTP stream or uh, choppy calls, what we can do is go ahead and analyze that call using the player. Um, we'll have to take a, a completed call. And the player will allow us to decode the RT, uh, RTP stream. We have the caller and the callee. We can see if there was any jitter. Uh, 0.9 in this case, you know, that's a, a low and acceptable level which is not an issue. So if we click both these checkboxes, we can use the player and it's actually going to play back the entire conversation um, that did uh, uh, happen. And what we're going to do is if we feel like there's echo or we know there's echo or jitter on the line and after listening to the call, we can listen to each side individually and pinpoint from which side that came from to help for uh, further analysis. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, I hope you um, got some good information from this and it was helpful. Uh, I appreciate your time and I will leave a link in the uh, bottom section of the comments here um, to the website that I use uh, for further information on using uh, TCP dump and the switches and uh, you can go ahead and check their site out if you would like uh, to know more information. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.